Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I'm going to go ahead and save my progress just in case, because we have just made it to the Lava Dome. And... Last time we had to go through the volcano to get there. We had to face a boss in the form of Medusa. Thankfully, it wasn't the hardest boss battle in the world. But now we gotta go through the Lava Dome. And no sooner do we get here that we face a new enemy. Hot Wings! And Ninjas! So we have two new enemies. The Ninjas are weak against Water and Thunder, and they can also put you to sleep with Lullaby, so you want to take care of them first. Also, the Hot Wings, while not weak to Water, and while they have the ability to cure themselves, they're not really that hard to deal with. Let's see. Um, hmm. No. Um, I want to take care of him first. And I'm glad that blow dart missed because I don't even know what th that what that does. And it's a good thing the Morning Star takes care of the hot wings in one hit. All right, let's go ahead and finish the rest of this off. It's a good thing I had the axe equipped. Did not really want to use a bomb on that. And I want to see if there's anything to the, well, there's another hot wing. Wonder if we'll get any more new enemies out of this one. No, we will not because there's a ton of new enemies in this area. We've already met two of them. There's going to be three more and there's going to be more to take on. Actually, there's four. So there's only two more that we have to face. And that is one of them. The Fang Pyre. They're weak to fire and they can also confuse you. You want to take those the those enemies out quickly as well. It's a good thing that Ruben's Morningstar can one-shot anything, especially at this point. There's Sonic Boom, which will be able to confuse you. That's the attack that does it. Thankfully, it did not do the same to Ruben. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead, jump over here, and face another new enemy, the last one that we have to face off against, the Adamant Turtle. These guys are weak to axe attacks. Kind of like the turtle attacks, or the turtle enemies, rather, that we have faced in the past. Can Benjamin one-shot them? Yes. Good. Now in here, is some bombs, which I will definitely be needing. Now, now that that's over with, I'm going to go over here first. And that is what the sprites for the ninjas look like. So I'm going to take care of these two sets of enemies first. Alright. Let's go to the west first and take on even more enemies. And apparently there's a new one there too. And we have a new enemy here, the Steno. What does the Steno do? Not very much. She can paralyze you with bad breath, but that's all that I know that she can do. She's also got to be much weaker than the Medusa that we fought earlier. She can also do Screech Voice as well, so she can fuse you. But she goes down in one hit from the Morning Star, so that's alright. And we have another new enemy that we can face. 
the Avizard. They can be easily killed off with white, especially in groups, and while they're not weak against it, it does work. They can also silence you, but that shouldn't be a problem for Benjamin because I believe he is silence proof at this point. So let's go ahead and take these guys out real quick and that is really really good it's a good thing I have all those seeds because that's the only way I'm gonna get through this place very very easily and of course I am gonna have to buy more when I go back to Fireburg but well I'm kinda expecting that anyway Oh my gosh! Um, wow, I did not know that. If you don't kill her in one shot, she will petrify you. That hurts. That was a really nasty thing to learn. Anyway... I'm going to go through the rest of the battles here real quick. Hey! We are now at level 23, I believe. Also, if you're wondering why I'm blinded... Oh, 24. If you're wondering why I'm blinded, that's because... The ninjas also have the ability to blind you. The good thing I had the bombs equipped. And we might as well go ahead and look through these two chests. Go ahead and fill up on heal potions. We got some refreshers here too. How's that map looking? Well, this will lead to even more things. Do I want to go through here? Ah, this just kind of takes me in a loop a little bit. Hmm, almost. Well, I can't really see... Well, okay, I can. You can jump through these areas here, but it doesn't really seem to do anything. So we can't really go through here. So all we can do is, our ma is just make our way downstairs here. And we got some more of these guys. And at this point... Or rather, by the time you reach the volcano, some of the enemies will be a little faster than you are. Which can be a real pain. And now that those two enemies are taken care of... Hmm, even more new enemies. I may show off that... You know what, I will show off that guy to the right, because that's a new sprite we haven't seen before. And we have a brand new enemy here, the Iflite. This guy is weak to water, and he's basically a weaker version of Jin. He can put you to sleep like the ninjas can. So you definitely want to take him out really, really quickly. I thought I had used a... No, I didn't use a seed. Well... At least this guy is really easy to take down. Also, 420 experience. Nice. And I'd rather go ahead and use a seed while I'm able. Let's do what this does. All right, it opens that door to the west. Glad we took care of that. Now it's time to backtrack our way to where we originally were. Because I don't think that going through that little lava-filled area that is in here will get us anywhere. 
So we're going to have to make our way down a little bit. All right. Now, if we drop down here, we won't be able to get up from that area. However, we can go up through, back up there through these stairs, so it's not like it's that much of a big loss. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of these two Avazards, and then I'll meet you right next to this doorway. As I was moving around, I know that there was a chest here. This will contain cure potions. And what do you know? There's some more hot wings. And now that the hot wings are taken care of, we got another gin. And that place. And there might be something on the other side. And now, we can finally go to this chest and its heal potions. So now that that's taken care of, I might as well go to the area that this leads to. And we got some new enemy, or rather, some more enemies. Be right back. Okay. Time to go ahead and use another heal potion here. And see what's in here. More cure potions. And we gotta face another Seno. Alright. Time to go up these stairs. And let's see what we got going around over here. Hmm. Fun. Looks like we got two layers of things that we need to take care of. Or something of that nature. Let's see. Well, we can't get rid of that one. We can get rid of the one here. I'll go ahead and take care of the animate turtle here first. Okay! So there are two levels of things that we need to deal with, and what in the world is this thing? Ah, oh, the Salaman! I forgot about this enemy. They are weak to water. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Blizzard now. I was hoping Benjamin would not go first. Great job, Benjamin. And we should be able to take care of the enemies from here on in. What can the Salamans do? It doesn't look like they can really do much according to my notes. And we got all these enemies to take care of. But at least I can finally go up to the upper level now. So that is definitely what I am going to be doing. So I'll meet you when I take care of all these enemies. Okay, we are back. Didn't level up, but did get quite a bit of battles here and that chest contained heal potions so that was kind of worth it I guess um how do you get over there ah you have to take that path over to the north there let's see here which path can I take next because there's gonna be two of those wherever I go well, that takes us to even more. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this battle first. And by finishing this battle, we can get some more healing potions if we need them. We're not exactly going to need them yet. I'm going to save that Animant Turtle to the east for last. Because I'm pretty sure that if I take that path, it'll lead me to another area. 
Not quite sure if I'm ready for that yet. And by going over here, we should probably be able to find... Yep, I guessed it. Some more stuff. And we are now at level 25 with Benjamin, which means that Benjamin now has 1,000 hit points. Um, customized. What will it look like under that? Hmm. Fine. I think I showed that off already. And by opening these chests, we can get some cure potions and some heal potions. So we're getting a lot of those at this point in the game. And the rate that this is going, since I can basically cure my party members now, I'm using the cure potions a lot less often. At this point, because I now, because of all that, and I have the seeds too, I'm not going to be using the cure potions a lot as often. I may use the heal potions just to be safe, but the cure potions, not really. And what do you know? The Animant Turtles can also blind you. That's something. And I'm definitely going to have to use some seeds in order to get through more of these battles. And we should be able to make our way to another area right after I beat this Zeno. Okay. We are now in this little short corridor, and oh boy. Um, I'll meet back with you when I get rid of all these enemies. Alright, we're back. And cure potions, and cure potions. Wonderful. Now where did this take us to? Okay, this takes us over here. There's the door. This will take us to even more of this area. And if we keep going to the east, we'll eventually loop around to close to where the beginning was. And we will be able to go take the right, the or the eastern path that we didn't take originally. Also, I should really heal my blindness on both party members right about now. That would be a good idea. And by going into this door, this should take me absolutely nowhere. At least that's what it looks like. Where exactly did this take me? Yeah, that took me absolutely nowhere. I had to look at my map there for a second to see where that was going to take me. So all we can do now is just loop, is just go through this area, take care of the two monsters, and then go ahead and go through more of this place. Okay, time to go into this area. That should be that one. And that should take us. Let me check my map real quick. Okay. That should take us to another section. And it looks like there's even more Crazy Maze action that we will have to do in the next video because this one's getting pretty long. Join me next time where I go through even more of the Lava Dome. And hopefully save the Crystal of Fire because there is a lot to this area. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!